the feeling when you realize that you have a text reference but no corresponding entry in your reference list? <laughs> and to make matters worse, the text reference reads Smith 2018. Do you know how many Smiths published in 2018? Thousands. They wrote journal articles, books, book chapters, internet articles. It's like finding a needle in a haystack. A damsel in distress. Hello, my lady. Are you perhaps missing a shoe? Well, yes. A shoe and a reference. Thank you, Mr... Um... Cytalot. Prince Cytalot. Your personal reference manager. I collect your references, sort them, and even cite while you write. Hmm. I can also compile your reference list with a click of a button. I must say, that sounds too good to be true. Well, reference managers like me can make things easier, but there are a few things you need to know. Let me start at the beginning. I am part of the reference software family. You might have heard of EndNote and RefWorks, which you need a paid subscription for, or the freeware Mendeley or Zotero. We provide a platform where you can insert every single source that you use. In this way, the source Smith 2018 that you used cannot get lost. We work closely with your word processor. When you integrate sources in your text, we help you to insert the text references and automatically create a reference list entry for each of them. In that way, you do not have to compile a reference list by hand and so avoid your present unfortunate situation. Let's take a look at EndNote, for example. Once you are subscribed and have installed EndNotes on your computer, you can start to populate your EndNote library. EndNote functions will also become available in your word processor and then you can cite as you write. But there's a catch. As you know, there are many referencing styles with their own guidelines. In the Reference Manager, you have to specify the style in which you want to reference. Many of us have the guidelines for popular styles such as Harvard, APA and Chicago. However, some universities and journals have their own house styles. Then, you have to find and upload the specific style sheet into the Reference Manager before we can accurately help you with citations and the reference list. This can get quite technical. I would advise you to attend training if you plan to use EndNode extensively. Remember that your librarian can point you in the right direction. Now for a quick demonstration of EndNote, just to show you what miraculous things we can do. Let's import a reference from the Google Scholar database into the EndNode library. Here you can see the source. Click on the site icon. Right at the bottom of this window, click on EndNote. Follow the instruction. Once in EndNote, your reference will be displayed. Double-click on the reference to see if all the relevant fields are present according to the source type. Check if the four W's are there. After paraphrasing from a source, you need a text reference. Now click on the EndNote tab for all the citation functions. Click on Insert Citation. Make sure you choose the right source. Insert the citation and edit the page number. A reference list entry is created automatically. What do you think about that? Hmm, a reference manager might just be the answer when my references seem to get too hard to handle. But, dear Prince Cytalot, I'm a bit sceptical that everything will be perfect the first time around. As the writer, I remain responsible to make sure that my referencing meets all the criteria of the referencing style that I have to use. Yes, my dear Referella, 
You are absolutely correct. To reference happily ever after, you need to understand referencing principles before you and your reference manager can drive away into the sunset. Referella, yes! <laughs>